Hello and welcome to our weekly look at the market. Uh, we're just coming off the back of that Fed uh, decision, which of course was to stand pad on rates, but Jay Powell in the press conference uh, didn't sound quite as hawkish as maybe the market had feared. So uh, we have seen bond yields come off a bit. We've seen the dollar come off a bit. Uh, the dollar index had been up briefly touching a six month high uh, on May 1st uh, ahead of that Fed meeting. Rolled over a bit uh, over the, the next couple of sessions to touch a, a three week low by Friday. So looking to see which way the dollar moves over the coming days. That dollar index sitting around that 105 level, the euro dollar around 107 and cable around 125 and a half uh, as of Friday. The end came back a bit. There was some intervention from the Bank of Japan and the Ministry of Finance and they, uh, we did see it push back off that 160 level back to 153 roughly. So we have seen some movement in FX. There has been a bit more volatility in FX as we indicated a few weeks back uh, in an article that, that I posted uh, about this sort of divergence of central bank exits from extraordinary accommodation has led to obviously a series of hikes that took them to the top of the mountain and now they're picking their way down. They're taking different routes, some heading off fast down the blacks, others are taking a more circuitous green down to the bottom of the mountain. So we'll see what happens here. We've got a couple more central banks coming up this week, so we get a bit more of a feel for things, specifically the RBA. So the Reserve Bank of Australia is faced with surprisingly high inflation or stubborn inflation maybe in the March quarter. That has some talking up the prospect of a rate hike. Uh, Capital Economics put its head above the parapet last week saying that it expects a hike coming from the, the RBA. Um, the consensus is not nothing like that, but there is this chatter that there's a potential for the RBA to be mindful of that. I think really with the way the Fed went, you know, on Wednesday, it's indicative of the fact that yes, inflation is stubborn, disinflation has been lumpy, the process continues to be very lumpy, but the cuts are coming at some point. The cuts are in the mail, if you like. That's also the case with the Bank of England. Much more consensus that the bank will be cutting soon. Question is, is it going to be, you know, June, August, September? And actually, the bank, a lot will rest on whether it sees inflation picking up in the back half of the year. So inflation seen coming down to 2% target soon, but then picking up again. So it's a question of whether it does pick up again, whether they think they've got room to cut rates. Um, remember, there's election year that is unlikely to be much of a factor though again you know we're coming off the back of those ele local election results on thursday in the uk so there is potential volatility around cable anyway because of the election because of the state of the, the government and so on so keep your eyes on some of this uk data you could see sterling moving around a bit and we've got some growth figures out of the uk as well at the end of the week but really the focus as ever remains on this sort of mix of inflation and, and central bank uh, behavior uh, we do still have earnings reports to look out for a few over in the us in, of interest, but but not the big movers and shakers, not the Magnificent Seven. So uh, the likes of Disney, that'll be interesting in terms of streaming companies, Netflix will have an impact. And also some of the sort of tech names, AI sort of names, Palantir, Arm Holdings, that's going to be interesting. It's, it got juiced up on AI, sort of AI hype, but then has come off quite a bit. Palantir the same. We've also got Shopify and Uber. So there's a few earnings out there, but I think that the main focus is going to be those central bank meetings at RBA and the Bank of England. Also, a top and tail of the week with some Chinese data. PMIs and then uh, inflation on the end of the week on Saturday after the market shut. So there might be one eye on that towards the end of the week. So lots to look out for. Busy week ahead. Thanks for watching. Trade global markets now.